Welcome back to Mike's Man Cave and welcome back to another GoPro Karma video. And unfortunately again, it's not a happy video. Here as you can see is my GoPro Karma drone. I have the Hero 5 GoPro in there. I've also got four batteries. So I've got three batteries here, one battery inside the drone. So there's quite a bit of money invested in this drone considering that these batteries were $179 each. I'm part of a few of the GoPro Karma forums and I've received information that the GoPro Karma since January 1st no longer works. Now I did fly this drone just after Christmas, I think it was one or two days after Christmas and it worked perfectly. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to test out to see if my GoPro Karma is also affected by this no-fly GPS issue. Apparently the word on the street is that all GoPro cameras are currently grounded and not flying. So now I'm going to set the drone up, then I'm going to take it outside and I'm going to attempt to fly it. Now we're back inside because as you could probably just hear in the video it's a little bit too windy to be filming outside and I really just want to get this video put out for all those people struggling with their Karma drone out there all around the world. So basically this is what happens, your drone will no longer fly. If you've seen the message that flashed up on the screen, it says cannot calibrate without GPS. Now you can muck around for ages, the drone will no longer pick up GPS signal and apparently this is happening with Karma drones all around the world. You can still fly your drone but it is obviously risky because you will be flying it without GPS. So there's no more return to home or any of the other GPS supported functions available. However, if you just want to send the drone up and get some video you can do that but i'd be doing it within line of sight definitely do not fly the drone any distance away from yourself and rely on the return to home so should your drone be up in the air and your connectivity between your drone and your controller is lost you might be in a bit of trouble so it's probably not recommended but if you really do want to fly your karma I will show you now that it is possible. Now it's obviously not going to acquire a GPS location inside the house, but as we just saw, and you can verify this for yourself, if you own a Karma drone, it will not acquire GPS location outside either. So what you're doing now, you're going to hold down the start stop button. Now you can see what come up on the screen once you've done that. It says expert pilots only. Flying without GPS requires increased manual control. And you actually have to put your fingerprint on the screen there or touch the screen anyway to be able to enter this mode. So let's press the button and see what happens. Location. There you go. So now you can fly your karma without GPS. Three, two, one. 
Now, as you just saw, you can still fly your GoPro Karma. However, I do not recommend that you fly your drone unless you really have to, okay? You're taking extra risks and you've got no GPS, so you've got no return to home and all the other safety features that are built into the drone will not be working without GPS. However, if you just want to get your drone up into the backyard or get a couple of photos of something while you're away on holidays, just go ahead and do it. Just be aware you're doing it at your own risk. What I'll be doing is I'll be getting my camera, putting it in the case and putting it away until GoPro gets this mess sorted out, which hopefully won't be too long. I'll download the update and then I'll be able to fly safely. In the meantime, I'll just use one of my other drones because I am lucky enough, well, it's not a matter of luck, I've worked for it, but I'm lucky enough to have more than one drone. I just wanted to show people that there is a way around the current GPS problem so you can still get some use out of your drone, however, you are taking a risk. Okay, if you found this video useful, do me a favour, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more videos from Mike's Man Cave.